We're just going to very quickly go through what's in my repair kit. Now, none of this has ever been opened. So obviously, if you open something, you know, just make sure that it's okay for maybe a year or so, but be prepared to replace items. First of all, we have Silfex. Now, this obviously is only for sil nylon or I'm assuming that you would be able to use this on sil poly shelter. So I have a small tube of this, which so far I've never needed to open, but you know, it's there if ever it was needed. Next on my list here is seam grip. Again, this has never been opened. Now this you would use on Cuban or on your sleeping mat if it was damaged, but it's mainly for sealing things. So if you carry this and you have, have a leaky shelter, then, you know, some of this dabbed here or there, or indeed some silicon like that, you know, should do an emergency help with your leak. I've got a little bit of bungee cord in my repair kit. I don't really know why I put it in there, but it's there and never used it like everything else. But, and I normally carry bungee cord anyway, but I have bungee cord in there. I've got a tiny tube of crazy glue. Again, never opened. It's basically a one use, one and done with, with that one. But I carry a dab of glue as well. I have a, a very lightweight Dyneema cordage here which is maybe come from a, like a kite I think I actually bought it um, separately but you know I just have that so if in an absolute emergency you lose some guy line or something like that you've got some cord that is very very strong like I said this is like a Dyneema cord so even though it's very light and very thin, it was very strong. So in an absolute pinch, you could use that, you know, to secure your tarp or tent. I have two lighting sources. I've got a spare lighter. I always carry a lighter with me for cooking, but tea and hot food and hot drinks for me is, you know, for a happy a happy camp really is critical and i have once had my main lighter fail it wasn't this one like this one replaced it but i've had my main lighter fail i had my backup lighter fail and i had about 10 matches and i was out here for about i think it was a two night trip so i was having to ration matches so I've put plenty of matches in. There's maybe about 12 or 15 in there that I could ration out over a few days in a pin. Uh, safety clips, paper clip, a, um, a strike pad for striking the lighter. And also back in, in between this card here, I've got one glue dot, which I don't know whether it's any good now or not because it's very old. Um, Post below in the comments whether very old glue dot will still work. And one very old patch for, you know, a thermorest type thing. I, I only have one. Maybe I ought to put a second one in, but I've just got the one. Uh, so that's everything in, the, in there. And then those, obviously, I keep in the back of that so they're safe. I have... Two of these type of cord things here. I, again, I don't really know why I put them in, but I guess if, if a guy line broke or you just needed something emergency to secure something, you could use those. Small piece of sil nylon. One thumbnail for sewing if needed. In amongst that lot, there's one or two needles in there. There's some um, Cuban fiber rolled up so I could unroll that and I've got a Cuban fiber pack, obviously a spare rubber band 
and then cord around the outside and it's all kind of bundled up in that so it's probably not really the most convenient way of doing it because to get to a needle you've got to undo pretty much everything you know just to get to a needle but it keeps it you know it keeps it all together nice and tight and and compact and then i've got two lots of tape here one is this roll of tenacious tape which is you know a decent sized length of roll for cuban fiber or repairing something or other and then i've also got this again i'm not quite sure what this kind of tape is but it's kind of like a a clear tape with a with a film back on it so you kind of got to peel it off and then stick it on and that's quite a narrow tape so this is what's in my repair kit comment below and tell me what i'm missing i know some people recommend putting duct tape around a walking pole or something like that i've never done that and i've never needed it um, but i've got this roll here you know if ever i needed you know any kind of tape or anything like that and it looks like i've got some more tape rolled up you know inside there as well so you know i've got plenty of tape that way as up a bit i did do a video on my first aid kit a while ago maybe a year or two ago now so not many of you have seen that one but I carry a few basics in, in here. I maybe need to, need to uh, add a couple of painkillers and uh, some new plasters in there. And maybe also, you know, a blister, something to go on a blister, which I don't have. I've just got some plasters and, and tape in there, but I, I do have a video on this. I also carry as a supplement to my emergency kit because i didn't really include this i've got a a light pen knife an emergency piece of um, guy line cord a toothbrush obviously cut in half surgical gloves not for surgery but really in the winter for keeping my gloves dry putting the tent away but i very rarely use them but that's basically what they're for an emergency torch which again i i never use it's it's never been turned on but it's it's there in an emergency and a tiny pot of soap which doubles as toothpaste this might be another reason why you know my rucksack always weighs you know a little bit more because i always carry these extra you need extra little bits as well, which all add up, you know, a few grams here and there. So I just wanted to add this in as I'd forgotten to add that in. And people would be saying, why haven't you got a pen knife? I do. Basically, I put all those bits in the bottom of this stuff sack. And then the emergency items goes on top of that. And then my first aid kit goes on top of that. So basically all of that goes into one pouch. I hope you found that video interesting and informative. As always, thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video.